and welcome to another action-packed episode of Daytime Ottawa on Rogers TV. My name is Dylan Black. Uh, let's kick things off with a barnyard break. It is happening at the Canada Agriculture and Food Museum. And uh, to talk to us about this incredible event is Arian Richardson, the Education Officer. Nice to have you here. Thank you for having us back. Always a pleasure having you here. Uh, the Canada uh, Food and Agriculture Museum, just uh, it's like a jewel in the city. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. It's pretty special, especially for urban kids who don't have the chance to have a connection with an animal that's mm -hmm. maybe not a pet uh, and also learn a bit about where their food comes from and see what it takes to operate a real farm in the heart of the city. For those who don't know about, say they're new to the town, mm -hmm. the city, uh, what kind of animals do you have there? So we try to represent many of the same types of animals that would be representative on, on Canadian farms. Mm -hmm. So we have dairy cows um, and we have a few different kinds of dairy cows as well. They're milked twice a day and at four o'clock people can come and see that process if they're really interested in finding out how milk comes into the refrigerator. Um, we have pigs, we have horses, we have um, soon to be some chicks and ducks that will be hatching Cute. for Easter. Yeah. Perfect, mm -hmm. perfect timing. The barnyard break, okay, so it's happening now. It is, so the folks in Quebec are on their March break now, so these activities have already started, and then in Ontario, of course, we'll be starting this coming weekend. Mm, looking forward to it, okay, uh, but it's wrapping up. Uh, when does this barnyard break wrap up? The 18th. Okay, so what exactly is the barnyard break? So it's really a chance for kids that are off school to come and join us at the Agriculture Museum and um, there's a bit of a um, maple theme to what we're doing during barnyard break so mm -hmm. it's just the time of year where there are sugar bushes and this is a an important part of local agriculture um, it's a tasty time of year it's a tasty time of year <laughs> so we're baking with maple every yeah. day so people can come and it's not just um, kind of watching but we really try to get visitors involved in learning where their food comes from and then getting involved in doing the cooking so making the maple sugar cookies that they okay. then get to of course eat which and is the you best brought part. maple sugar cookies I did. With you? yes oh. you you get to eat all 15 of them. Uh, and I totally will <laughs> on and off air. So does that mean kids get a chance to, to make these cookies as well? Yeah, that's right. So they can participate. They can come up and have a hand in trying the ingredients and uh, putting all the, the cookies or pies. We have pies that we're making every day oh, as well. Wow. Baked goods. So it's it's pretty fun. Kids love getting involved in the kitchen. Okay, maple taffy is big this time of year as well. Mm -hmm. uh, you, we're not actually making maple taffy right now, are not we? Not currently. I just brought in a couple need, of the tools of the snow, trade. Don't you? We have snow that we, I mean, not a lot right now that yeah. we have to use, but yeah. yeah, you need an icy or snowy surface. And then, um, so every day at 1130, people can come in and see a taffy demonstration. Like taffy, mm -hmm. that, that's tasty. I mean, that really is a right of being a kid yeah. uh, when, when you get to that taffy. Like the ta the, not much fun for the parents when it's all over their clothes. Well, and it's right before lunch, so we're really filling you up with a lot of <laughs> sugar, ruining your lunch, and then sending you home. That's so, okay, fair yeah. enough. Well, what is this Wooden Spoons workshop as well that you are offering? So this is happening on the 17th? That's right. So we have this amazing storyteller, raconteur, craftsman named Louis Mercier um, who is coming in there he's doing two things with us so for five dollars so this is something that people need to pre-register for okay. but people can sign up on our website um, to make their own little wooden spoons so they get to sand them decorate hmm. them and then he's going to teach the kids how to play them. oh yeah of course and then uh, so there are two there's a workshop that morning and then later on in the day he'll do um, songs of lumberjacks and and so it's a, ch a chance to tell some stories, sing some songs, uh, so that should be pretty fun. I understand you're going to perform a song of Lumberjack for us I right now. I will not be doing that for <laughs> you. <laughs> Put you on the spot there. Uh, speaking of though, okay, so Lumberjack sort of theme, uh, Plaid Day is also happening? Yes, yeah, so this coming Saturday, it's Plaid Day, so we're encouraging people to come on down and wear plaid. Uh, we have the McGill Lumberjack team that's driving up from Montreal, and they are engaged in all kinds of competitive lumberjacking. Uh, there, so, so they're a lumberjack team yeah. and, and then you said competitive lumberjacking. Yeah. Do you know exactly what that means? So it's all kinds of competitions in terms of um, sawing things kind of the fastest in a certain amount of time or there's one um, kind of level of difficulty where there's they saw things really quickly without the rondelles kind of falling over so it's a kind of exciting engaged activity <laughs> and uh, yeah it's it's pretty fun. Uh, Big Joe from the Ottawa Red Blacks will be there in the afternoon. He's too. a lumberjack for sure. He is. I don't know that they let him near power tools but yeah, probably yeah. not probably <laughs> not a good idea to let uh, big joe near power tools okay so that's happening as well uh, on saturday as we mentioned but uh, not to be outdone you've got the pancake sundays which are uh, super fun and that's yeah. going to be very popular so throughout march break every sunday morning we're making up a bunch of pancakes for people so people can come on down we had one this past sunday and we had i think 900 people um, over the course of the day that came and, and had a sample it's not like a full pancake breakfast but mm -hmm. had a sample got to see them being made um, and so this coming sunday 
Friday and then the 18th, which is the last day people are welcome to come in. And that's with admission. Okay, but there's only a limited uh, time for that as well. It's only going for a couple of hours? Just the mornings, that's Just right. Just the mornings, yep. okay. All right, pancakes, Sundays, plaid days, wooden spoons, workshops. Sounds like a lot of fun. I think so. Sounds like a good time. Yeah. I, I didn't even ask you, but when it comes to the taffy, so what are some of the prime ingredients that you need? Because we, we, you brought them in with you. Yeah. Uh, except for snow, you've got some great Canadian ma maple syrup with That's you. That's about it, really. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it's it's pretty amazing when people see how it's done. Um, and then they get to kind of wind it up themselves and eat it themselves. So, and But they learn a little bit about the process in terms of what's involved with um, kind of the history of this industry in Canada mm -hmm. and how that comes out of the trees. Uh, so it's a kind of a fun, engaged workshop. There's always... A so much happening at the Canada Agriculture and mm -hmm. Food Museum. Uh, in case people don't know where it is, where exactly are you located? So we're at 901 Prince of Wales, and uh, so um, yeah, it's just off Prince of Wales, kind of in the heart of the experimental farm, mm -hmm. um, and lots of, of parking, paid parking, but lots of parking on site for people, uh, lots of bike trails that lead to yeah. us as well, although maybe not this time of year. But It's such a beautiful location. And now outside of the barnyard break, yeah. you have other events coming up. We do. So actually March 27th, we have uh, a food for thought lecture. So we have a fellow from Ironwood Organics that's coming up from the Kingston area to talk about growing hops, growing organic hops, basically the science of brewing. And our friends at Dominion Brewery are going to be there. So if you'd like to have a glass of beer with your lecture, that's something you can do. So it's kind of a more adult focused event. Okay, so is that the beer and brewing event then? Yes, okay. March 27th at 7pm. So that's just a one night, w one night only. That's right. At the Canada. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, tell me about some of the other animals, because I know you mentioned, because you used to have staples there. Now I understand Goody the Bull, Bull is no longer there. That's right. And Goody's that was a big on. loss. He, he, yeah, he has. So now we have Hercules. Um, Hercules. So, uh, also a lovely animal. We have, um, how are some of our other favorites? Ethel Ann the donkey, yeah. who is uh, just like a lovely, friendly, friendly, loves pets, loves you know people to come engage with her. We have our alpacas. Yeah. So not necessarily just traditional animals that you'd find. Yeah, I in, find that when, when I visit yeah. as well. It's been, it's been a number of years since I've come to this uh, amazing museum. I need to drop in for the barnyard break. Yeah. All right. <laughs> and we're going to be starting to hatch our chicks and ducks this week that people can ah. come and see those being incubated for that is Easter. Adorable. Okay. <laughs> All right, for more details, the website, which is? It's a long one. It's a long one. <laughs> okay. We probably flashed it. Google it. Yeah. <laughs> Simple as that. Education Officer, Canada Agriculture and Food Museum, Arian Richardson, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. As always, always so much fun. Uh, coming up, the Ottawa Humane Society joins us next on Daytime on Rogers TV.